Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're this dramatic couple in love that loves reacting to some Dragon Balls that you abridged. And we have a new character to learn about. Yes, we do. We have uh, Trunks to learn about. We are learning about the history of Trunks. This is uh, special from uh, Team Four Star. If you want all of our Dragon Ball Z abridged reactions so far, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there, as well as a link to Patreon. We can get early access to all of our Dragon Ball Z abridged reactions. And the early access is also ad-free access. That's true. That is true. I always forget that part. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, Aww. yeah, the creator of, uh, Ruby. Hello, my name is Trunks, and this is my story. I mean, I was a baby during this part, so the details are a little unclear. <laughs> Mom, what happened? Your dad is dead! For good! No! I'm told those were my first words. Son of a bitch! Help it! And those were my second. <laughs> just got back from his training. After getting back from Namek. After getting back from his training. <laughs> After being dead. Bye, son. <laughs> and with the death of Goku, his family and friends were left to mourn. For approximately six months. <laughs> Oh my god! The fate of the earth with little hope. I like how this is opening up. Yeah. So suspenseful. So dramatic. Over the next 13 years, the androids would destroy small town after small town, working their way up. Maybe that's why we reacted the way we did. Welcome back, folks, to TJ and the Wombat. 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 Me so horny. Starting us off this hour with sports, the College Battle Ball Association has had to disband entirely. As most of its players and associate colleges have been destroyed by the cyborgs. <laughs> Speaking of which, in cyborg news... <laughs> As we currently speak, Paprikaberg is under siege by the mechanical threat. But on the brighter side, Wombat's getting married. <laughs> uh, that's right. Unfortunately, my beloved fiance resides in Paprikaberg and is probably most certainly dying as we speak. Damn. Uh, but, silver lining. Again. Oh, hey. <sighs> I miss country. <laughs> Mom, do you believe in destiny? I'm a scientist, so no. Paprika Brig is only 30 miles from here. If I hurry, I could save someone. Or you could die like your father. Why do you say that every time I want to go fight them? Because you were 13, I'm 37, and I am all alone. My mother had been 37 for 10 years. <laughs> no. End of discussion. I know. Just, just fly away. That's fine. God bless him. Hey, 18. You keeping score? Why would I be doing that? You said you would. No, you said, hey, check this shit out, then jumped in a car. <laughs> Come on, sis. Is this about the shop earlier? Oh, man, you wouldn't believe this haul. This is why I love these little inner city shops. They always have the best brand. What the hell? <laughs> why did you blow it up? They were giving me free clothes. Didn't give me nothing. It was a woman's clothing store. Hey, I'm perfectly secure. Is <laughs> that why you dye your hair? Don't hate. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do anything at all, but I had to at least try to stop their chaos. <gasps> Unfortunately, I was too late. Damn it, I'm too late. But as I walked the ruins of that demolished city, <laughs> a hero appeared, the hero of my time. Go on. And face to face with him, all I could say was, "God, thank you to destroy cities, and I don't know how to stop them. And everybody said, <laughs> I believe it was profound. <laughs> <laughs> you remember a time before this, Gohan? What was it like? Well, 
When I was a toddler, my uncle showed up, kidnapped me, and then Mr. Piccolo killed him and my dad. Then Mr. Piccolo kidnapped me, the Saiyans showed up, killed a bunch of people, including Mr. Piccolo. Then we went to Namek, a bunch more people died, we came back, <laughs> then my dad died again, <laughs> then all my friends died, and now everyone else is dying. But it was better, right? <laughs> no. Well, I can help! I'm half Saiyan, just like you! Shut up, go on! I've got one, Mr. Piccolo. What? I said, from now on, you shall be my pupil. And you will call me Mr. Gohan. Oh, okay. W would you like to stay for dinner, Mr. Gohan? Mr. Gohan would. <laughs> Trunks, are you home? Or should I change my dating profile from single mother to just single? <laughs> it's more hits. Oh, Gohan. It's more Long hits. time no see. Bulma. So, Gohan. You staying the night? Oh, God. We got plenty of room here, but, you know, no extra beds, so we'll have to share. <laughs> I'm good. Well, worth a shot. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how hard it is to oh, get protein nowadays. Luckily, we have our own greenhouses. Don't ask me where I get the protein from, though. Can't talk. Eating. Oh, you are just like your father. In what regard? Hmm. Well, you're strong and brave, and look at you in that gi. It was the only thing he left me. Aw, that's oh. sweet. Ouch. Over the next few weeks, <laughs> she says that's sweet. training me, focusing on making me a super saiyan like him. His methods were dodgy. Dodge! Yeah! <laughs> there we go. He was coming. <laughs> Maybe I can fill the raft. Oh. <laughs> Here, huh? clean yourself up. <laughs> that crap. You know, if you think I'm rough, you should have trained with Mr. Piccolo. I was thinking he was so much you like really Piccolo. You really looked up to him, didn't you? Yeah, he was like the father I never had. Mm. You know, speaking <laughs> of dads, mom never talks about mine. You knew him, right? What was he like? So what? You think having a dad is a super saiyan makes you better than me? No! Wrong answer! He had a lot to prove. <laughs> Gohan would never talk much about his family. Apparently, his mother and grandfather lived alone in the woods. I'm home, and I've got groceries. How are you doing, sweetheart? I should be a grandmother, you know. Oh. I should be a grandmother with a Nobel Prize winning son. But what am I? A widow. With a son who never talks to me and is possibly dead. Oh. You, 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 uh. So I'm just gonna sit here and knit this baby sweater. So, uh, is dinner happening? Will dinner bring my husband back? Maybe? Gohan will continue really pushing me harder and harder, day and night, to become a Super Saiyan. That's it. Look at him, Mr. Piccolo. He's almost ready. What do you think? I think the only real training you'll ever get in this world is on the battlefield. You're right. The next day, the cyborgs would attack Super World. Hello, and you should be close to your stats. Slogan pending. Please stay behind the line. Uh huh? Excuse me, you two. You can't cut the line. Do. You not know who we are? If you'd like to get on the rides faster, we do have a fast pass system that's only 7,900 zen. Uh -huh. This is why I hate theme parks. Oh. <laughs> Music. Yeah, you know, when you can fly, these rides don't really seem that fun. <laughs> well, if you're already bored, why not try taking a ride on my fist? Wow, you, uh, want a minute to rephrase that there, Chief? Nope, I'd rather <laughs> take that minute to <laughs> kick your ass. Okay, now see, that's better. Now, Trunks, I want you to just sit back and spectate. Unless they team up on me, in which case, jump in. I can't help but feel like I'm woefully unprepared for this. <laughs> and that's exactly what we prepared for. <laughs> this would be my first real battle, and I've never seen anyone fight so fiercely. Gone. Gohan had always told me stories about the fights of the past, but those had a lot more screaming and posturing. <laughs> 
But as soon as Gohan gave me up her hand. Damn, he's pissed today. You think it's his time of the month? Ha! <laughs> uh, it's funny because you're a chick. <laughs> Oof. Stop it! I can't believe he brought a kid to a battle. Super irresponsible. She wasn't wrong. I'm not afraid of you. I can take care of you myself. I, however, was. <laughs> <laughs> now what do you think? You hit like a girl. <sighs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. oh, no you don't. Well, shit. Think he got away? I don't know. We can't sense life energy. Seriously, what was the point of not giving us that ability? <laughs> Seems like an intentional design flaw, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, well. Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth. Aw, oh, crap baskets. Crap baskets, he's so sad. Mm-hmm. Everything but my left arm. Ah, oh, man. Oh no. <sighs> Too bad I'm not a Namekian. Be really handy right about now. <sighs> but I'll just settle on the next best thing and use the Senzu beans. Bean. <laughs> Singular. Ah, oh, well, that's disappointing. Looking for male, mid to late thirties. <laughs> Black spiky hair, not too tall, loves to work out. <laughs> hey, Mom? <sighs> what is it, Trunk? Oh my god! What do you know about reattaching arms <laughs> that I can't find? Oh, sweetie. Oh my <gasps> so, huh? have you learned anything today? The only good cyborg is a dead cyborg? <laughs> you really are your father's son. You're now stronger and more motivated than ever. I was back to training as soon as Gohan was able again. Though I think he was still a little... sore. Come on, Trunks! Just imagine losing someone or something close to you. Like your arm! Cause trust me, that really friggin' sucks! <laughs> <laughs> All right, take five. Unfortunately, I wouldn't transform in time. So, go on. Do you usually hang out in wastelands? What do you mean? This is where I live. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> I think you're really close, you know? You just need something to push you over the edge. Well, you always tell me to use the pain of loss, but I've never really lost anyone. For me, it's my greatest source of anger. I just think about losing Krillin or Mr. Piccolo. Or your dad? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it just builds up inside until finally... it explodes. Yeah, like mm. that. Only metaphorically. <laughs> Mr. Gohan, we have to go! No trunks. You stay here this time. We both know you're not ready. Mr. Gohan, And now you'll experience loss. Arm. What can you do with one arm? You know what? You're right. What can I do with only one arm? Thank you, Mr. Gohan. I will not let you die. Right. <laughs> I can do that with one arm. <laughs> now, what can I do to the cyborgs with one arm? Use the Makanko Sapo. You never taught me that. Use it. <laughs> you know what? I'm bored. Well, we could find another city. No, I mean, like, bored of this whole Great Destroyer shtick, you know? <clears throat> Destroying things, killing people. It's just boring. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of lost its luster. After you wipe an entire genre of music off the face of the earth, what's left? You know what I always wanted to do? Like, since before all this? Be a park ranger. You want to range a park? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> 
Living outdoors, communicating with nature, shooting poachers. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> your shit <laughs> okay you know what that's it i'm killing every human every one then i'm gonna arrange the shit out of that park <laughs> neither of you are leaving here alive i'm stronger than i was before yeah also lighter looks like you dropped some weight since last time mm. five ten pounds i don't know how much does an arm weigh gotta hand it to you though pretty ballsy coming after us all asymmetrical like that <laughs> But four hands are better than one. Long story short, you're gonna die. No, this isn't where my story ends. This is where Gohan's story ends. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, well, this is it, Mr. Piccolo. But at least we still have trunks. I trained him just like you wanted. You know I'm not actually here, right? <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Down. I wonder if it was just in his head. Oh no. All right, Mom. I got the rest of the supplies for the time machine. And Stu Bad Grandpa's in here to help you build it. Yeah, unfortunately, he's still off searching the cosmos for new Namek. My God, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> no <way. laughs> oh, damn it all! So until your grandpa returns, just me. Hello, this is an emergency broadcast from Humanopolis. The cyborgs are attacking, and they are sparing no one. No one is. <laughs> That's close to here. Trunks, I know what you're thinking, but let me just finish the time machine. We don't have time for that. That's what the machine is for. Listen, <laughs> I'm stronger now. I'm a Super Saiyan. So was Gohan, and look how that turned out. Oh, so now you're just replacing Dad with Gohan? Trust me, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going now. Be safe. That's and great. So, harm with the sword given to me by Tapion. Which is a whole other story. <laughs> I raced off to fight the cyborgs one last time. We all wrapped up then? Yep, looks like we're out of people to kill here. Why don't you try me? Wait, did you just ask us to kill you? <laughs> no, as in fight me. I'm sorry, do we know you? Yes! You <laughs> murdered my mess! Oh wait, hold on. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, I'm still not sure why I did what I did. Maybe it was grief. Maybe it was puberty. <laughs> Maybe I just had something to prove. A young, half-blood Super Saiyan, armed with nothing but a sword in his guts. Unfortunately, Half human and half Saiyan might just be analogous to half brave and half stupid. Hmm. I. I did it! Hey! Doesn't he kind of remind you of you know who? Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. But unlike good old Righty, he's still got both arms. Yeah, but not for long. Oh. Crap. Ooh. You lost, little boy. Hey, sunshine. Calm if you're still alive. Good boy. Why? Why are you doing this? The question isn't why, kid. It's why not. I mean, who's going to stop us? Not those guys 17 years ago. Not all one arm. And certainly not you. 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 You evil fucking shit! Kick your ass! This is hilarious. Yeah. Although now it's kind of annoying. <laughs> now it's sad. And now it's annoying again. <laughs> Wait a sec. 
This kid look familiar to you, sis? Yeah! He was at the amusement park with Stumpy! Aw, who's a little survivor? You are, yes you are! Let's fix that, shall we? Dibs! Sis, get out of the- Did you just friggin' blast me? You stepped in front of it! What is <laughs> wrong no, no, with that, you? That's it! We're leaving! Oh, come on, I sis. still have no idea sis, how I survived. <laughs> Trunks, sweetie? You waking up? Uh, 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 Mom? Am I alive? How long was I out? Well, I finished the time machine. Oh. Is that long? Yeah. Hmm. Which means you got two options. You take another swing at the cyborgs, <laughs> or you use the time machine to go save Goku. I want to save Goku. Trunks. <laughs> I want to save Goku. Good boy. <laughs> After recovering a few months, I was finally ready. Aw, my jacket looks so good on you. All the girls in the past are just going to love it. Thanks, Mom. So this is it. I can't believe I finally get to meet history's greatest hero. Yeah, Goku might not be exactly how you think, <laughs> so do temper your expectations. Uh, Dad, I finally get to meet Dad. Oh shit, you do. <laughs> I mean, just be yourself, sweetie, and everything will turn out okay. All right, Mom, I'm off. Next time you see me, this will be a cyborg-free world. Yep. Unless this actually operates on multiverse theory, in which case. I can't hear you, Mom. Time machine. <laughs> Multiverse theory it is. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Two days. I can't believe they took my house. I'm going in for a food run. All that's <laughs> left is the spam and the pork rinds. We both knew this day would come, Oolong! I have long since made <laughs> peace with this. I'm just glad we're still alive. Oh, thanks to my submarine! <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! My dick. Speaking of which... Oh no. I've been meaning to ask... No, I, I freaking knew it! How does it feel right in my dick? Seventeen years! Seventeen years you've been holding on to that one. You don't know the patience I have. Didn't answer my question either. It's tight and damp. <laughs> We're gonna die in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that one was had a different tone to it. What'd you think? I enjoyed it. Um, I think I think one of the parts of it that surprised me was getting a lot more of Bulma's personality. Yeah. Um, and I loved hearing like what she would really say and then also exactly the unfiltered version that's kind of like usually all in our heads. Like, you know, Goku might not be exactly what he's <laughs> saying. And I'll get to be my dad. Oh shit. I mean, yes, honey. Like, I just, I love that we got to see that side of her because she's such a, like, like not even a secondary character for the most part in mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z Abridged that we see. So, so she's always kind of there on on the the edges, but not not a focus. So it was it was good to see that. Um, and then of course, Trunks is really fun. Of course, he's not like quite the badass in this that he is when we meet him yeah, in the flashback. Yeah. But I love the whole like 
Terminator tone to all of this with the cyborgs and the time machine and the guy that goes back to the future to like save things. Because the first time that we saw Trunks introduced, it felt like Back to the Future. Now it feels like the Terminator. Yeah. Um, and then I, I really liked seeing Gohan and I liked that Piccolo was still in his brain. Mm -hmm. I found it very funny how he reacted to any questions about his dad. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It had a little bit more of a of a serious and like a little bit darker tone to this than I'm used to for like Dragon Ball Z or Bridge. Um, not that like the humor wasn't still there and the jokes weren't still there. Obviously, we, you know, you had all that that you, you know, come to learn and expect and love for Dragon Ball Z or Bridge from Team Four Star. But it was, uh, yeah, I, I was kind of su surprised about that. And um, I liked the way they, uh, you know, the, the narration of it with, with, with Trunks, seeing grown up Gohan w w was great. He's uh yeah he's he's awesome um it's it was sad it's like this is not where my story ends this is where Gohan's story yeah. ends uh and you know the androids uh this is our introduction to the androids we'd seen them before in um you know some different like uh, special attacks for different games that we, we've checked out I recognize the characters uh before but like don't really, didn't really know anything about them um it shows just kind of what of a threat they are going to be coming up because you see Trunks in earlier episodes just wipe the floor with Frieza and his dad and all the minions and like have no sweat with them um, who Goku and everyone else and Vegeta and everyone else like struggled with um, and Trunks just wiped the floor with them and then now Trunks just got his ass kicked by uh, the androids yeah. so it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see hopefully their, their training montage uh, worked and that Goku will be able to to, to overcome and, and, and take on these forces. It is fun to see the sort of um, the beginning product and the end product without seeing the evolution yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I, they, they've done it very successfully because they made me very curious about his evolution. Um, we've obviously seen little Gohan's training with Piccolo and everything. And, Crap and baskets. I love that he says that. I want to introduce that into my, my language um, <laughs> of, of terms that I use and stuff. I just, I feel like, mm -hmm. you know, you can say crap and it's it's a curse yeah. and it's very definitive and, and like usually associated with stress and negativity. But like if you say crap baskets, like how can you be upset <laughs> after that? Like, like I just feel like that's going to instantly diffuse any upset or, yeah. or frustration. I think they did a very good job with showing us like how Gohan is growing up. And then we get to see big Gohan and we're like, yeah, that makes sense. Like with Piccolo's mm -hmm. training, I'm like we, we it, it pairs with what we know of him. Um, but with Trunks, we just get like the beginning and the end. And so it makes yeah. me very curious as to how does he become the super amazing fighter that we can see has destroyed foes that our current heroes, as we know them, are mm. really struggling with. You have to let us know what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you want more of our Dragon Ball Z Bridge reactions, including early ad-free access, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for all of our uh, other Dragon Ball Z Bridge reactions and a link to our Patreon. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Z Abridged, uh, the history of trunks, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. Crap baskets. Crap baskets. <laughs>